I bought a Hoover from Comet. I felt the need to try the Hoover out in the shop. <laughs> Comet is a place, incidentally, that sells electricals. Everything in the shop is plugged in. It needs to be plugged in. But nothing is actually plugged in in the shop. So it's filled with people trying things out not for their primary function. People are buying fridges on the strength that it opens <laughs> and it closes. <laughs> and it's silver. <laughs> I was buying a Hoover and I felt the need to, you know, Hoover up the shop a bit. <laughs> I wasn't plugged in, I just wanted to feel the weight of it, you know, and down the aisle. In fact, somebody else was trying their Hoover and Hoovered past me. Hello, good Hoover. I stand there. Because that's my Hoovering technique. I, uh, I walk with my hoover. There are two very distinctive styles of hoovering. Either you hoover like me, where you walk with your hoover like this. Ooh, ooh. Then when you reach the end, you hoover around, following behind. Ooh. Or you stand your ground and hoover out. Ooh. 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 Then pick a new position completely at random. Hoover out again. Ooh. I like the Hoover challenge when there's something in the carpet that could potentially ruin your Hoover. A nail or a paper clip. And you see it, you spot it. Ooh, you square up to it. Ooh, this could be dangerous for the health of my Hoover. Ooh. You know what you should do, you should pick it up and not listen. But the excitement of living life on the edge overwhelms you. Ooh. Ooh. Then you wait for the noise. I like it when it's hose time. You can't get in a nook. It's time for the hose. Get the hose out. Get the hose. Stand up the main hoover hose time. Ooh. Even though you know what a hoover does, it sucks. It's a vacuum. It sucks air through it. You feel the need at this moment to hoover yourself. I don't really know why. <laughs> you feel the excitement building within you. Ooh. 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 